nah, that's not real. Rewind it a little bit. Look at the back of the car. All right, check this one out. Can you believe how close he was to that car? Because I can't. And the reason why is that we actually created this clip so we can prove how easy it is to make fake clips like this. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what to look for so you don't get tricked as well. Hello fellow PK analysis and today we're going to be exposing a bunch of fake flips on the edges of buildings over Formula 1 cars and normal cars. Now before I go into the analysis I do need to emphasize don't go and do flips on the edge of buildings and over cars. It's really really dangerous. Don't go and do it. But that being said there are professional stuntmen that have done this trick successfully. Generally it's a forward flip over a very low car like a supercar or some Lamborghini or something and that's the only safe way that professionals have done this trick. Now this stunt has gone wrong in the past as well so I can't stress enough how important it is not to go and attempt this. Now let's get into the analysis. Wow. Now the first one I want to look at is actually the first ever fake parkour clip I ever saw and was the inspiration for this series. This is a guy from Russia called Eden13 and in this clip he does a cork on the edge of a building. Now, when this clip came out, I saw it on my phone, as did everyone else in the parkour community, and people were resharing it and it was very, very popular. But actually, if you take it onto a computer and look on a slightly bigger screen, you start realizing that it doesn't look right at all. There's these strange jagged lines around his body when he's flipping, and then if you look at it frame by frame, you see as he's doing the cork, if you look at his right hand, it disappears halfway through the flip. In this frame it's fine, and then there's two frames with a strange line in the middle. Now all of these videos are achieved using the same trick, which I'm going to explain in a moment, but first I want to give you some more examples to show you how versatile this trick is. So I looked more along Eden's profile, and to turn up the Russian levels, the next one is another fake flip on the edge of a building. And in this one, he does a front flip on a snowy ledge and then fires a gun. This guy's subscribed nuts. Whee. And this guy's done even more fake videos. So in this one, he does a round off Arabian over a car and this clip is weird, man. Now, if you watch when the car drives underneath him, you'll notice that the tires leave these big brown watermarks on the floor. Now, those are the kind of watermarks that come from driving a car multiple times through a puddle. And this leads me on to how these videos are made. They're all done by filming two separate events and then combining them together so they both happen at the same time. The flip was filmed on dry ground, but the car was driven at least twice through the puddle because we can see the watermarks already on the floor during the shot from inside the car. So when they combined the dry ground flip with the wet ground car, they had to add in all the watermarks which built up, which is why they look so big in the final shot. You can see he's done it again here with another round of Arabian over a Bentley. This is also fake. And the worst thing is, it's really simple to create these clips for yourself. But the easiest way to explain is with an example. So I asked Ampersound athlete Connor Walker to go out and get some footage for us. Tell us the plan, Connor. Right, so what I'm going to do is do a flip in the road there. And I'm going to take my car and drive it back the other way down the road, underneath where I did the flip and then Scott's going to put it together afterwards. So Connor did a backflip in the road as high as he could. He then got in his own car and drove the other way back down the same road. I then took this one long clip into After Effects, halved the opacity and split it into two so I could line up so that the flip and the car driving happened at the same time. I then selected just the clip with the car in and used a tool called Roto Brush, which lets you choose which parts of a video to keep visible and which parts to turn invisible. So I then just painted away everything but the car and its shadow. It's important to keep the shadow so things look real. The Rotobrush tool does most of the work for you, but as you go frame by frame, you sometimes have to remove or add extra bits where it can't guess exactly what you want to keep. This left me with just the car on its own, which I then added on top of the clip with the flip in. Finally, I used the Curves tool to adjust the clip's brightness and make it match better to the background. It looks like this now. The original video was shot with an iPhone leaning against Connor's backpack on the floor. But to make it look more authentic, I added some camera shakes so it looks like someone is holding the phone filming. Finally, because Connor filmed this on his own, I took the audio from a recent clip I filmed of Shane and put it over the car flip so there's a reaction of someone filming. Here's the final clip. I then uploaded this to Instagram to see if people would believe it was real, and they did. 
However, a lot of you were very smart and realized that, of course, I fake this as well. By the way, if you're not following Ampersound on Instagram, go and do it now because some of the stuff I've been putting up there recently is amazing. So now you know how most of these clips are achieved, you wouldn't believe how badly people mess it up still. This next clip is of Damien Walters doing a backflip over a Formula One car. When this clip came out, it was very popular, which is crazy because there's like three minutes of these beautiful slow motion shots and all this build up and then talking about how difficult this stunt is going to be. But when the car actually drives down the road with Damien looking incredibly concerned and Damien does the backflip, you realize that they've messed up the VFX anyway. Watch the spoiler of the car as it goes underneath Damien. It completely disappears here and here. They must have spent thousands of pounds hiring out this racetrack for this video and they didn't spend the money on the VFX to make it look right. Now I do believe the shot from the side is actually real and I think that this has been achieved with the car going slightly further back than Damien was, especially at the speed the car is driving. And here's why I think that's the case. This last shot I think is actually real, but there's a catch. If you draw a line at the side of Damien and then move the car so it's in the same place he would be, I don't think the car would ever actually have hit Damien. I think Damien did a backflip incredibly close to a speeding Formula One car, but not actually underneath a speeding Formula One car. And I think the fact that this camera angle is so bad confirms that. Considering how well filmed all the prep shots were, this is a terrible camera angle. But that's not all. They actually uploaded a version of this stunt in 360 as well. We know there was a 360 camera on this car because we see it in this shot previously. Now when you download 360 footage from YouTube, it comes in this strange format, but you can still use it to analyze the video quite easily. Now while we're looking at this 360 shot, I just want to point out how reflective the hood of this car is. Notice how it's perfectly reflecting the banner above it. The car then drives directly under Damien as he does the backflip. But if we just pause when Damien is above the hood of the car, you'll notice there's no reflection. We can actually put the banner here and you can see when the banner is in the same place, the banner reflects perfectly, but when Damien is there, there's no reflection of Damien in the hood of the car at all. Also, this part doesn't look anything like a person. This looks like a blob with an egg on the end. <laughs> Equally, we can tell this 360 clip is from an entirely different time of day because it's blue skies and sunny, whereas the actual flip Damien did was filmed in the evening. So you're saying that Damien did this stunt again earlier in the day just for the 360 version and they didn't film it on a regular camera as well? Nah, it's just fake. So don't believe it when you see someone doing a flip over a car or on the edge of a building. Sometimes people make these clips in a way that's obviously fake as part of a joke, but what's dangerous is when you can't tell. Now moving forwards, I've had loads of emails from you about a certain Stora video, and next episode I'm going to analyze it. So make sure that you subscribe and smash the bell like this cat is so you don't miss the video. If you have any fake or sketchy parkour videos that you want me to check out, send me an email at scott at ampisound.com. Did you believe any of these videos were real? Did you know they were fake? Leave a comment and tell me what you thought. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.